There is a new Canva feature that makes it so much easier for you to edit your videos. If you've ever wanted to create a blurry background in a picture for your YouTube videos or for your thumbnails, I'm going to show you how to do that today. One of the big problems that Canva has had is not being able to see the waveform on your video file. They have closed that loop with this new feature. So in addition to learning the basics of how to use Canva to edit some of your footage, you're going to learn where this new feature is. We're going to click on video and click on video again. You might be like, this is not new. Well, there is a new feature here that has made it so much easier to do this. We're going to click on upload and upload all the assets you need. By assets, in today's video, I'm referring to images and videos. You would just need to click upload file, put in the video. So for example, I've got this one called clip of a blur background, and it's going to automatically upload in the videos tab. You'll see that I've already done this a couple times already because it does take a little while but you will see I've even put in videos in here that are six and a half minutes. This is a 12 second intro. So what we're going to do is I clicked on that. Previously, I would not know where to, where to split these clips without having to listen over and over and over again. And then sometimes my split would not be accurate. But the new feature is that you can actually extract the audio and see the audio waveform. We're going to right click and click extract audio. My audio waveform is right here. I could even get rid of the video right there. And you're going to notice that the audio clip is still there. So this could be all B roll, but I'm not going to do it that way. I'm going to keep in my talking head. The file is like this short. I want to make it larger so that I can see precisely where to clip because I'm going to be clipping some of these segments into like under a second. Go here on the lower side where it says zoom page and then move it to the right to be able to stretch out that audio file. But I'm going to listen to it just to make sure I know where I want it to cut. Then I'm going to add a couple assets to this to make the whole entire intro. If you've ever wanted to create a blurry background, I want to split right there. I wanted to clarify one thing. You need to click on the visual part to split that clip. If you click on the audio waveform, you will split the audio waveform and not the actual video. And I also want to split right here. That's 0.9. That's exactly what I wanted. So I've got 2.4, 0.9. While I'm here, I'm going to go ahead and add the image that I want there. I want the original image without a blurry background. Here it is, original image. All the images that you're going to see in this video, I actually edited within Canva. I just didn't film that process. I uploaded the image. I created my blurry backgrounds. I added any shadow outlines that I wanted. And then I added for these specific ones, I added option one, option two, option three and I downloaded them as an image as a PNG and then re-uploaded them as you're going to see here inside of Canva. And I'm going to go ahead and put this right here. And I want to add an animation. This is why I wanted to do it within Canva because I wanted the specific Canva animation. I've got the picture. I'm going to animate. It is not tectonic. I wanted to do a tumble on enter. The photo animation of tumble on enter is free, but I want to adjust the intensity, which is a pro feature to make it come in a little faster. Like always, I will have a Canva free trial linked 
in the description box below. If you've never tried Canva Pro before, I highly recommend it. And now we're going to move on to the next one because I want to put in option one. So I'm going to keep listening. In a picture, okay, I want this to be my next one. Actually, I think I want to move it as far right as possible to make sure that that clip, okay, 1.3, I'm fine with 1.3. Option one, and this one, I'm just going to do the same, same thing here. I'm not going to give this one any animation. So it's going to go straight from that to that. In that video that I filmed, I'm going to be teaching three different options to get a blurry background. So I'm putting in the three different options that people would learn by watching the video. So option one, this may be too long, but we're going to see that's two seconds. I'm going to go ahead and go with it. Option two, here's my next picture. If you've ever wanted to create a blurry background in a picture for your YouTube videos or, okay, I'm going to right click split page. That's two point. That's a little long. I don't know that I want um, option three to be that long, but I'm going to go ahead and click it and put it right there. And I want this one to fade out. So I'm going to click animate fade on exit and I want to see where I would like for it to fade out. Ooh, maybe instead of that, let me right click show timing. Maybe instead of that, I will pop up and say or and have it go for like 1.5 seconds. Let's see. We're going to watch real quick a blurry background in a picture for your YouTube videos or for your thumbnail. Okay, yep, I like it. So that's exactly what I want. And I want a little extra something on the front and on the back. So what I need to do is add those assets in as well. I've got them in here as images, but actually I'm going to do something different. We're going to go to projects and I'm going to type in brand because I've got some static branding here and I'm actually wanting to give that branding line. A, I want it to be a little thicker. I'm going to add a page so that I can get the color of the background that I would like first. So this is a specific shade. Uh, a gradient that I would like to use. If you need a lesson on how to make a gradient, let me know in the comments below. I'm going to take this first and just bring it in a little bit. I'm not sure exactly how far in I want it until I get this asset on there, but I want to go ahead and get my background color. So I'm going to put this in position, center, middle. I'm not sure if this is the exact rectangle that I would like. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Let's try that. Position center middle. I'm going to click R on the keyboard. You can also go to elements and go to shape. We're going to click border style. I'm going to give it a border weight on the outside of it. I'm going to click this and change it to white. And then I'm going to click that blue color or whatever color it is for you and change it to no color. And then I'm going to give myself a rectangle, a border that's going to go over this. I think that it's going to need to be a little bit smaller because I want to put in my brand logo here at the top. And I like for my brand logo to be in the corner. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to take both of these and I just use the left mouse and selected both of them. Do, 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 do. I'm going to go ahead and group them so that I can position them correctly there. 
Pardon the editing interruption. I realized that there is another way to do what I just showed you. And I want to show you what it is because it is so simple. We're going to go over here to uploads and then grab that video file. And up here at the top, there's something called border style. Click that. Do, 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 do. You can change the color. Could go over to... Uh, your brand and if you've got your logo you can add it there and make adjustments however you see fit if you are finding value in what you're learning today make sure you hit that thumbs up button because it lets me know that you want more lessons like this one i'm trying to see if i like that i think that's okay we're gonna go with that i'm gonna ungroup this because i'm gonna want to use these Let's go to positions so I can show you what I'm doing. I'm going to go to layers and I'm selecting the canvasador badge plus the rectangle to go at the end. So I'm going to copy those. I'm using control C on my keyboard. You probably have an option if you're on mobile to do something similar. And then I'm going to go here and paste it right on the page. And Adjust that so that it's right behind it and give the background color there. Apparently, I was a little off with my image, and that's okay. I can go to position and grab my video. And then I'm going to go to the range tab and get it in the proper position. Now I can watch and make sure that everything's exactly how I want it. Okay, the only thing I did not like was that this didn't have the same effect behind it. So because this is 2.4 seconds, what I'm probably going to do is split it right here and then get rid of the branding right there and then take that. So that way, there's not that harsh cutoff. So let's try that. If you've ever wanted to create a blurry background in a picture for your YouTube videos, again, the same thing here. I'm going to split the page there. And I'm going to take this off because I just want to make sure that it's a smooth finish. So now I've got this. And when it goes from there, Yep, so that's exactly how I want it to look. Now, I'm just going to do this, blur a background hook, and I'm going to click Share, Download, and Download All of the Pages. And I'm going to take this and put this in my Shotcut Video Editor. And I'm going to show you exactly how I do that. This step is going to take a minute because it's downloading. Because this step does take a while, that's why I prefer to only do a couple clips at a time and do the majority of my video heavy lifting in an external video editor that does not require internet access. But it just finished. Here is my external video editor. And this is the clip that I was working on. So what I'm going to do is open up and, and here it is, and I can just bring it right inside of that and get rid of, get rid of that original one. I do want to make sure that it is right, so I'm going to go ahead and watch it real quickly. If you've ever wanted to create a blurry background in a picture for your YouTube videos or for your thumbnails, I'm going to show you how to do that today. Watch this next.